My name is Bill Paris. Uh, I'm, as, as Ben mentioned, I'm a member of the Air Fiber Research and Development Team out of uh, the Barrington, Illinois lab. Uh, <clears throat> and I want to spend a few minutes today talking about the evolution of LTU, which is the, the future of outdoor point to multi point. Uh, so, 802.11 technology, this dominates the WISP market today. Uh, this technology was not designed for outdoor use, uh, but I think Wi Fi performance has been pushed to the limit for outdoor use with you know, the uh, various vendors that offer the WiMAX radios. Uh, this is definitely the, currently the most cost effective solution in the WISP market, uh, but not the best performance. Uh, then you have LTE technology, and so this is the standard for high performance smartphone networks. Uh, it was designed specifically for outdoor use, uh, however it was not designed for fixed wireless applications, so it's not optimized for use as WISPs. Uh, it's much higher performance than 11, but at a much higher price point, and then a lot of that cost is, is due to its mobility features which don't really offer anything for the uh, fixed wireless network. So the challenge provided to the air fiber team is, is how do we bring purpose-built technology to WIFs with LTE performance but at the price point of uh, 802.11. So the answer is uh, introducing LTU. Uh, for big ubiquity networks, this has been a vision six years in the making. And uh, this marks the beginning of the high performance WISP industry. Uh, it's a cost effective benchmark optimized for house, high speed uh, wireless broadband. <coughs> uh, so everything else is a compromise designed for other purposes adapted to the WISP in industry. Uh, so how can we bring this uh, best-in-class performance with the cost benefits of 802.11? Uh, we did this by developing proprietary, fully custom uh, chipset targeted explicitly for the WISP market. So first I'd like to talk about our RFIC. Uh, so we designed or assembled a, uh, an RF ASIC design team to, uh, to implement our, our fully custom RFIC design. Uh, so the Air, Air Fiber team as a whole, we spent a great deal of time and effort in defining the architecture for this chipset. Uh, we included features such as distributed uh, power detectors, real-time programmable filters, uh, and these things work together to provide interference mitigation. Um, we optimized this chip for best EVM performance. This uh, RFIC performs better than any of the uh, air fiber radios that are available now, including the 11X. Uh, it was designed with full duplex and hybrid division duplexing in mind. Uh, offers real-time spectral analysis and real-time band management. Uh, we're targeting it for support for constellations up to 4096 qualm. Uh, and it supports bandwidth up to 100 megahertz, so it's extremely flexible. Uh, so we've, we've built a ton of flexibility into this IC, uh, which allows us to employ advanced algorithms, maximize performance in, in a given RF environment. Uh, so it's, the configurability allows us in the clean environments to open up the filters, for example, to take advantage of uh, higher signal noise ratios. In noisy environments, we can close down those filters. We can use our power detectors to uh, clamp down the noise and uh, and, and, and give us the best signal possible given the RF environment that this particular radio is in. So the second IC I want to talk about is our baseband IC. Again, we assembled another ASIC team, this team specializing in, in, in digital ASIC design, uh, to implement our broadband IC. Uh, this is an extremely high performance custom SOC design. It's designed by the Air Fiber team specifically for the WISP market. Uh, we have a uniquely flexible layer one engine, supports a wide array of duplexing schemes, and, uh, and supports sub-channelization. Uh, layer two performance, of course, is far more robust than the 802.11 chipset. It's, uh, it's designed for uh, our T2 
TDM sort of frame. Uh, and then it also supports advanced MIMO features and uh, OFDMA with multiple advanced coding schemes to take advantage of uh, low interference and high interference environments. So all this is built into our baseband IC. Uh, it was designed for point-to-point -point and point-multipoint use. As I said before, it's extremely high performance. We'll support two million packets per second. Uh, and then at the access point, we're gonna support FDD, HDD, and TDD mode of operation. I want to take a minute uh, to introduce you to the AirFiber team, uh, the people that designed these two ICs. Uh, AirFiber designed Altair, the first indoor wireless LAN way back in 1988. It's showing the age of some of them, not me. Uh, designed Motorola Canopy, point to multi point system in 1998. Uh, of course, the AirFiber product from 2012 till present. Uh, the team is collect has been collectively named in over 70 patents. Uh, and so we have about 20 engineers in our Barrington, Illinois Research and Development Lab. And between us, we have 400 years of experience that we put into the LTU. Uh, a few other points that weren't on the slides so I'm going to add in uh, just a few tidbits of information of what uh, air fiber multipoint will do. First, uh, it will be delivered with full support uh, for AC2 Air CRM type tool, so it'll be it'll be uh, a package out of the box. You won't have to wait for an network management tool. We'll also support SNMP v3, so if you'd like to use standard network management, that will be possible. We're uh, currently working in parallel with AirLink to tightly integrate AirFiber MultiPoint with the AirLink product, uh, AirLink tool, so that. Uh, so that you can do RF planning of your network. There's going to be a bunch of features added to AirLink. It's going to be integrated so that from the AirFiber multipoint radio, you can link into AirLink and uh, plan your RF network. Uh, I'm happy to say that there will be copper and fiber interfaces on the access point. <laughs> I need like that. <laughs> uh, some other things, I like will support asymmetric bandwidth. So, you know, for example, you could do a 40 megahertz bandwidth downlink, 20 megahertz uplink. Um, we'll be running Air OS 8. So, again, out of the box, we'll have a uh, full feature set of Air OS 8. So, you won't have to wait for a trickling of uh, networking features. And we do have prototypes running outdoors right now. Uh, they're all within Ubiquity. We don't have any run with customers, but the ICs have been manufactured. They're on our boards. We're running them. Uh, outside, and so it's going well. We've got a long way to go, but we wanted to get this out and uh, let everyone know how what we've been working on for the past three or four years. Uh, finally, uh, as part of this, we wanted to do the full package, so we uh, brought in our own air fiber uh, antenna engineers as well. So, where our CPEs will be custom designed for, the, for uh, air fiber, we'll have at least two uh, integrated antennas off, off the bat, uh, probably 17, 18 dB for the low gain antenna and 23 to 25 for the high gain antenna. Uh, we're just getting first prototypes into those and they seem to be working well. So uh, I just want to let you know we're, we're working from end to end with this product. So, so you don't just get pieces, you get the network management and you get the access point to CPE, the antennas, everything. Uh, and it's all designed in house. And uh, that's it for today. We'll be we'll be around. So if you have any questions, uh, we'll be able to take them. Just one more. Thank you.